I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Let's trade. We've got to get the transmitter powered back hey, up before I can get back to broadcast. Take a look. Over there. I can't do that. Hi. Well, what are you waiting for? Get that artillery set up. I just want to trade a few things. We've got to get the transmitter powered back up before I can get back to broadcasting. I just want to trade a few things. Howdy, General. Everything's secure. We'll hold this place against anyone. Count on it, sir. That's the spirit. Look alive. What do you need? Move here. I'm on it. Let's go get some bad guys.
Good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. All right, General. it out. Hey. I've got to hand it to you, General. You've really turned things around for the Minuteman. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Yeah, she definitely knows how to take charge. Ha! <laughs> That's a bit of an understatement from what I hear. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Miniman means she must be doing something. Have a minute? Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. 
When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We'd probably better get back to it. We could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. What's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that would love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. The Minutemen, right? The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? 